What's up guys, it's Cheddar. Today we're talking all about how to get better at fighting in Spellbreak. So I'm sure a lot of people out there that are just joining the game are like, holy crap, everyone in this game is so good or they're so bad <laughs> and there seems to be no in between. How do I get better? How do I join that top rank of players? You know, if you're playing Dominion ranked, you want to go all the way to Legend. I mean, it'll take time. A lot of tips in this video are going to help out for sure, but you got to put in the effort. You got to work hard for it. And then someday you'll get there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. So first things first, getting better is probably like it's all about experience. So the biggest thing you can do is just go out and just play a lot of games, you know? So before you even do that, if you're brand new to the game, I highly, highly recommend going into the practice range and just practice flicking onto the bots. So in beta, when I first joined the game, we didn't have bots in the practice range. All we had was trees. So what I would do is I'd go into the range and I would just practice flicking onto, onto trees with a fireball, right? So I would aim far away from the tree and just flick my mouse over to it to get that aim down, you know? Just like an aim trainer, but in spell break. So kind of get the feel for the projectiles and stuff. You can do this with ice, with tox, with fire, stone, sort of. Wind is not as easy because you can't really flick with wind as much, but uh, it's definitely worth your time. Now that there are bots in there, it's even better. So you can just practice fighting the boss and getting kind of your experience of all the classes in. The biggest thing you can do is when you're in the practice mode, try every class, try as many talents as you have, just practice everything and see what kind of fits your playstyle best. So the best thing you can do is to do that so you know kind of when you're in the game, you're confident in your build and your class. So once you're in the game, the biggest tip is to go fight people. Don't run away and try to hide and get the win. Like sure, it's fun to get the win in Battle Royale, but if you have one exile, you only learn from that one fight, right? However, if you get six exiles and you lose and get seventh place well wow you mean you got a ton of experience from those six fights you had originally and then you learn from the seventh you lost as well so it's way way better to go out and fight lots of people over just camping or hiding and trying to get the win along with that note try and land in somewhat hot places so you don't want to land out in the middle of nowhere where you're not going to see anybody try and land in fort halcyon or go over to bogmore and take a drop in banehelm where there's a lot of chests a lot of loot and a lot of people doing that will definitely help you learn how to play the game properly faster along with that you should play a lot of different modes too so in br especially solo br the game is played so differently than in dominion so solo br is all about the one-on-one -on -one fights you have to be a lot more wise and sensible in your tactics so you have to kind of learn how to play with your movement a little more use the surrounding terrain um learn how to fight that opponent and that person's class um so it takes a lot more mental power to fight in solo br however in a mode like uh squads or in dominion it's a lot more damage overall aoe focused um but you, you should do both because you, you have to learn how to use both when you're fighting because in time you'll use everything you have to learn how to do both fully next biggest tip is all about watching and learning from the best right so the biggest thing you can do is just watch streamers not just me i, I have a twitch i do stream spell work a lot but you should watch everybody so big recommendations for sure are marcus aka apostle he has a youtube channel and a twitch it's op also on both platforms those are the two biggest streamers of the community right now definitely check them out if you haven't already because these guys have been around the community for such a long time, they're really good and knowledgeable about the game. So when you're in this stream watching, don't just sit there and try and watch and kind of see what goes on. Like, no, look at it, try and learn from doing because like, these guys are good players. Um, all the streamers on Twitch are going to be solid players if you kind of, if they have decent following, if they're large enough stream, they're going to be really experienced in the game. Um, so what you can do is watch them play. And then while they're playing, ask them questions like, hey, why did you use that move? Or, hey, why did you pick a dash over a flight? Or, hey, why did you pick a flight over a teleporter? Whatever it might be, like ask them questions about what they're doing and how they're doing in the game. And you're going to learn a ton. Like Playing the game is by far the most important thing you can do, but you can learn from watching too a ton because all the streamers know what they're doing and they know how to win and every streamer in the community is super super nice and wants to help so don't be afraid to ask them a ton of questions like all the vets love to help new players so asking them all about what you might want to learn about is going to be huge along with that just being involved in the community will help you improve so definitely go check out the element discord i'll put a link for it in the description down below element is the competitive community for spellbreak 
So if you want to learn more about people in there, just hop in one of the general chats of this Discord and learn all about there. They also have a new mentoring program going on soon. So if you're a new player, you should hop in Discord right now because they have these events going on soon that you're going to get paired up with a veteran of the game and they're going to go one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two -on -two with you to just walk you through how to get better. So that's going to be huge in learning how to play as well. It's a combination of both the experience like I talked about and watching instead of watching, but you're playing and they're watching you. You know, it's going to be really, really, really good. Kind of similar to that last point, another thing you can do is to just look up and find educational videos on YouTube. So I have a couple. I'll There's a card up above right now, all about the guides that I've posted. Um, but there are hundreds of videos all over YouTube. So as I mentioned earlier, Marcus and OP have great videos on it. Uh, Dark Breakers or The Dark Breakers also has, has another one. IXI Timmy also has good videos all about Spellbreak. Oh man, there are so many. I mean, like if you look up Spellbreak, tips and tricks, you're going to find a ton of videos on YouTube and they're all there to help. Definitely worth your time. Just again, watching and learning more, just kind of immersing yourself in the community is going to help a ton. And then the last thing you can do to improve is just don't get discouraged. Like there's, Spellbreak is a, Spellbreak is a hard game. I mean, like they, the, the balance of the game has been changed a lot in the last few months. Um, but the veterans have been playing this game for literally years. I mean, I joined in the second phase of beta and I've been playing for about 18 months now. Some of these players who joined in pre-alpha have been playing for like two or three years. So just don't get discouraged. I mean, it takes a long time to get be a good player in this game, but the combat's just so much fun and just an absolute blast. Just go out and just play these games that you're not gonna wanna put it down, right? So I found a playstyle that I like. I personally like playing Tempest. Um, the Tempest uh, game style is just my most fun because it's a lot of quick agility movement. Um, similarly, Toxicologist is kind of similar. You kind of, it's all quick in people's faces. Um, that fast, high burst build with Tempest and Toxicologist is really rewarding, but it's risky. And I kind of like that, right? So if you find a playstyle or a game mode, such as BR or Dominion that you love and you enjoy, do that because you're going to stay passionate about, it, about the game. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, then don't do it, right? So you want to play something that you really enjoy doing. So therefore, while you're playing and kind of just loving the game, you're learning and getting better and getting experience and all that good stuff that comes from just playing the game for a long time. All right, everybody, that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Again, five second summary, just go out there, play a lot of games. That's the biggest thing you can do. Secondly, go out, find a streamer you like in the community and ask them a ton of questions and learn from them. They're gonna help you out a ton. Similar to that, find some educational videos on YouTube from me, from other plat other streamers, whatever you like, it's gonna help a ton. And then finally, just find something you love about the game and just do that a ton. And you're gonna just really put in the time and effort and get a lot, lot better. All right, guys, thanks a ton. If you guys like what you saw, drop a like, hit that sub button down below and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Oh Peace God. out. Sprink ah! Hello, Sprinkle. It's going good, my man. It's been a while. How you doing?
Let me search where I can set up. Oh my god, what happened? What'd you do this time, Sprinkle? You slip discs? Oh, okay. TSGO? I think it's fine. I wouldn't play it myself. It's a fine game. Okay, it's last guy.